I was dating, I'd be too arrogant to check back with the person and find out why they ghosted me. Hmm. Your pride oh. wouldn't let you do it? I don't think so. I think, you know what? You're showing me everything I need to know right here. You, oh, don't, cool. you're not, you don't want to hang out. Okay. And I'm just going to assume it's you. <laughs> you're the problem, not me. I think that's the best way to go through life. Yeah, just stare in the mirror. They're lost. Yeah. Not mine. Yes. And then I give myself the finger gun. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> Shoot him again. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so Abigail, we're gonna do we did this for you. But I mean, at the end of the day, I say I feel like Kristen with texting tutor whenever we do this one. Go ahead and give your disclaimer. The disclaimer is like, do you really want to know? The dude is telling you everything you need to know by not telling you anything at all. <laughs> Yeah, I, I understand, uh, but, you know, but. it's kind of nice to know why. Mm -hmm. Is it? <laughs> Did I do something? Maybe? No, I it's him. I don't know anything about your story, and I could already tell you it's him. <laughs> <laughs> he's a jerk, yeah. and he's missed a tremendous opportunity. Thanks for calling. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound like you've ever done anything wrong. At all. <laughs> so how long have you guys been going out? How many dates were we talking about before he just went away? Well, we were pretty heavy for a month um it happened pretty fast and we found ourselves like we worked from home so we would get together and work at his house or my house almost every day um we'd hang out almost every night and then two weeks ago it was absolutely just radio silence um out of nowhere so i don't know it's just kind of weird um i texted called um, and just no answer. There was one answer about two days later, a single text that just said, sorry, things have changed. Oh, sorry. Things have wow. changed. Uh, Maybe his wife took him back. Yeah. Or girlfriend. <laughs> or something, <laughs> right. That's what I was going to think. Right. All right. So a month. All right. I know we debate this all the time. Like, but it, it sounds like you guys went in so hot, so heavy that, Four weeks sounds like it doesn't sound like a lot of like time on a calendar, but when you go in that that quickly, you at least deserve a call, you know? Yeah, I agree. That's kind of how I felt about it. Um, and I, I I wondered if it wasn't too fast. Like, I mean, I, you know, I noticed it. It's it wasn't exactly red flaggy, but I, I definitely noticed it. I mentioned it to him, and he said, "No, nah, we can go at our own pace. There's no reason to." You know, follow the rules if we're happy and we're comfortable, and we were. So, seemed pretty cool. So, were you thinking maybe you were the rebound girl or something like that? He broke up with somebody, immediately went back with you, and then was was with somebody else based on his text. Well, I wasn't thinking that until now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can always come. We out. always seem to help, don't we? Yeah. We make it worse. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That's what we major in. <laughs> All That's right. Fine. So you asked us to reach out to Dude uh, and find out exactly what happened. Tommy, our studio director, did mm -hmm. that, and Kristen can read the exchange for you, and you'll know what's up. All right, here we go. Are you ready, Abigail? I'm ready. Tommy what called Rob. Say? He didn't answer and did not reply to a voicemail. So Tommy texted him. Tommy, hey, Rob, my name is Tommy Owen. I'm the show director for The Burt Show. We are radio morning. Ro we are. Huh? Really? Yeah. What? Why is <laughs> He's that right there. <laughs> hey, Rob. Yeah, he has a mic. What? Let me hear your Kristen voice, Tommy. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm from Kentucky. You guys sound the same. The same. It's the same voice. Yeah. Well, it just and, and barely if, different. And if you were going to imitate Tommy, why didn't we just have Tommy do it? Yeah, he's right there. Because <laughs> Tommy <laughs> asked me to do it. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to continue. Right. Huh. I'm the show director for The Burt Show. <laughs> we're a morning radio show. Not sure if you heard of us. I'm reaching out to you about a friend of yours. I feel like I'm watching King of the Hill. <laughs> Rob, I've heard of you, but don't listen. See, I told you, D-bag. Oh. You don't even listen. Tommy. <laughs> That's problem. No problem. Totally understand. Are you open to answering a few questions? Or wow. Wow. Questions? Wow. You're, you're really going deep with that accent. I have never said that word like that in my life. I got questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> a few questions for a radio segment we're doing. Do you like propane accessories? <laughs> Rob, <laughs> do I win something? <laughs> Tommy, ha! 
I'm afraid it's not that kind of segment. <laughs> We're actually just looking to help out a friend of yours. <laughs> Your. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching Yellowstone. <laughs> it's, it's a okay. lot. Friday Night Lights. <laughs> <laughs> so Rob. What friend? Tommy. Abigail. <laughs> Rob. What about her? Tommy. Do you know Abigail? <laughs> Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. I assume you mean the Abigail that I was seeing? Tommy. Yes, that Abigail. <laughs> he, he would start to have attitude about this right. point. Yeah, he would. We need a banjo background. <laughs> She's a big <laughs> listener of our show. And reach out to us for some help. Rob. Help with what? Come on, Rob. Tommy. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Wait. How do you spell that? <laughs> Let well. me bend your ear for a minute. <laughs> Bunch of L's. <laughs> she said she was confused about why your relationship ended. Rob. This is for a radio segment? Tommy. Yep. We do a radio <laughs> segment called Closure Call. For listeners who are broken up with and don't know why, contact us. We try to find out the reasons for them. Rob. And the reason is aired on the radio? Tommy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's normally how it works, yes. Would you be willing to tell me so I can share the reason with her? Rob, can't. Tommy, why not? <laughs> Rob, because it doesn't involve me. Because it doesn't just involve me. Tommy, I know, but I can assure you that she contacted us and has agreed to be told the reason on the radio. Rob, I'm not worried about her. Tommy, Ooh. <laughs> 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 Who are you worried about? Rob. Other people involved who probably don't want their business on the radio. Tommy. I understand. Does it help that nobody knows who you are? We aren't using real names, and Abigail's voice was even disguised. She also gave no information on the air that would reveal who you are or who she is. Rob. So why doesn't she just call me directly? Tommy. According to her, she tried. <laughs> She said, you were not responding to her. Rob, things got a little weird for me. Tommy, she said all you would say is things have changed. <laughs> Rob, that's an understatement. Tommy, she doesn't understand what that means. She doesn't know what you think has changed. Did she do something? Rob, nope. Tommy, so what's changed? <laughs> Rob, my entire world. Tommy, okay, I promise you're completely anonymous. <laughs> Rob, I'm going to be a dad. Ooh. Oh, ah. damn. Yikes. Okay. Did you catch that, Abigail? Um, Abigail. Abigail. Yeah. Wow. He, 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 oh, that was Tommy's response. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm absolutely speechless. I, I okay. know I remain yeah, speechless. Re response it is. Okay. Hold on. Collect your thoughts. Remain speechless. We're almost done. Um, Tommy. Wow. She left out that detail. Rob, huh? She didn't tell us that part of the story. Rob, she doesn't know. Tommy, oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a dad with someone else. Rob, my ex. Found out a couple weeks ago. Tommy, well, congratulations! <laughs> Rob, thanks, I think. Anyhow, everything in my life is upside down at the moment, and I have a lot to figure out. Tommy. Totally understand. We'll let her know. And I promise, totally anonymous. Rob, thanks. Uh, Kristen, will you say in Tommy's accent, I can't quit you. <laughs> I can't quit you. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail, so now you know, I mean, why things have changed. So it wasn't you. Um, I mean, that all makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um and, yeah. he, and it may not have happened when you guys were together. He said an ex told him. So maybe after they broke up and he started dating you, then she finds out, you know, some weeks, a month later, she's pregnant, waits, and then tells him, and you all just happen to have been dating. Well, the timeline sounds like you were right. I was a rebound. What? <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, don't worry about let's all that. Let's not focus on that. Yeah, let's not focus on yeah. that. He could have told oh, you. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So he dodged a bullet yeah. anyway. He, he should have told you. He absolutely should have. Right. Yeah, you're better off. Kind of sounds like a redneck anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, she dodged a bullet, but his ex did it. That's uh, a fact. Yeah. That bullet hit. <laughs> <laughs> the Bird Show.